Our next patient is an 83-year-old woman that presented in January of this year epigastric pain. The gastroscopy showed a gastric ulcer in the antrum. She was put on PPI treatment, and in May, uh, she underwent a control EGD. Uh, it showed a flat lesion in the anthrum of 15 millimeters, and uh, the biopsies came back positive for intestinal metaplasia with low-grade dysplasia. The biopsies was, were negative for Helicobacter pylori infection. She is scheduled today for ESD of this um, gastric lesion, and we shall join Professors Yagi and Lemers for the procedure. Hi, Hello, Professor again. Yagi, Arnaud. Good morning. I'm start. currently rewalking my friend Arno and uh, Pierre and Max as an anesthetologist and Sylvie and Bridget. Uh, we have a wonderful team here. And uh, as you can uh, already recognize, there is small protrusion here, very close to the uh, pyloric ring. And going to the duodenum above, I suck the liquid a little bit and come back to the gastric side slowly, slowly, it looks completely normal. And when we use NBI uh, and the near focus mode, we can nicely appreciate the uh, regularly arranged surface structure here. But putting back the endoscope to the oral side a little bit, we can see uh, protrusion here. And coming close to this area and press down the uh, transparent food, now you can see the demarcation nice. line the clearly here in the middle of the endoscope. Uh, this is typical appearance of our gastric, gastric cancer in our country uh, because the demarcation line mm -hmm. is quite clear and uh, we can see regular vascular network on the surface. Uh, even though the taken biopsy revealed just uh, uh, low-grade dysplasia, I guess this has already become a, a high-grade dysplasia, and in our country, we call this early gastric cancer. Uh, to observe this area more clearly, I would like to flush uh, liquid a little bit, then uh, we can uh, avoid the light reflection, then we can have much clear view. So before starting actual uh, ESD procedure, I would like to place a marking dot around the lesion using tip of the knife J. Underwater condition is very good to visualize target lesion more, more clearly. Uh, gently touch to the target tissue with the closed tip of the knife, I can place the marking dot very clearly. You can see the normal background mucosa uh, having regular arrangement of surface structure. This is completely normal background uh, mucosa. But if you can see here, the, it becomes completely abnormal, and you can see neoplastic irregular blood vessel here. So avoid, uh, avoid touching here, I would like to place marking dot. And transparent food is always very important to, to have stable condition. Uh, it becomes quite uh, close here, so I would like to put another marking dot just behind here. Okay. Without Professor Yagi, what kind of settings do you use for the marking, marking the lesion? Okay, the, the, this is uh, Olympus ESG 300, and currently I'm uh, using soft coagulation uh, effect 380 uh, watt. This is very good for marking. Okay, now I, so this I is think fine. it's a good message for the audience about the indication because uh, also DSG has published a new guidelines about the management of uh, early gastric neoplasia. And uh, the, in the new guidelines, uh, if it's only low-grade dysplasia on your biopsy, but you have a visible lesion that looks uh, suspicious, it's an indication of resection, because we know that when you uh, analyze the specimen, there is an upgrading of the stage of uh, uh, the dysplasia or the cancer compared to the biopsy, because there is an error of sampling, of course. Yes, that's right. Okay, injection, please. This is really okay, difficult area to control. Uh, therefore, it is necessary to cut the anal side first. Otherwise, it becomes almost impossible to cut the anal side after making some mucosal dissection from the oral side. Uh, therefore, I'm injecting solution only at the anal side. Then uh, I will start the mucosal incision here. 
Okay, stop. And also here. Okay. Very difficult to approach here. Okay, now I made a, a tiny hole and the talking wrist and using down angle, carefully cut the mucosa. It's very difficult to control, but still uh, possible. Just twisting endoscope and using down angle. Little bit tricky. Okay, let's go. Slowly, slowly. Now I'm using down angle maximally. Okay, check the incision line. Okay, it's perfect. Now we can see the muscle layer of the yep. pyloric ring. Okay. It's enough depth. Then extend the mucosal incision from here to the uh, right side. Uh, before that, I would like to inject a little bit more. Okay. And catch the edge and make the incision to the right side. And as we can see, to use the near focus to during the dissection helps you to have a good focus of the picture, if even it's not only for the pattern, uh, to look closely to what you are doing. Yeah? Yes, that's right. Okay, that's good enough. Then go to the other side, checking the edge and checking a marking dot here. Okay, then inject additional solution from here. Okay, looks fine. Okay, let's complete the mucosal incision here. And once more again, give additional fluid cushion. Okay, and check here. So there is a question from the audience that I find interesting. Um, can this lesion be removed in one piece by EMR? Oh. Uh, yes, the, because of the small, <laughs> small size, if we use a big cap, uh, probably one piece resection would be possible even with EMR. But sometimes the, the applied snare wire slips out from the target region. Uh, therefore, I prefer to do ESD even for the small region. Uh, because it's more precise. You and don't have any control of the margin of uh, what you do with uh, cap EMR, for example, because you see the target before and then you hope that it will be uh, in the snare at the end, but you, you have no control of what you do. Yes, um, that's right. This is the main advantage here for small lesions. Huh? And uh, European society, um, in the, the guidelines published in 2015, um, the cutoff of the size of gastric lesion proposed to be indication for ESD is uh, from 10 to 15 millimeter for, from, for this reason, to have the control and to have yeah. clear margins to avoid recurrence and good pathological examinations. Professor Yagi, uh, yeah. I've seen that you use a lot the, the, the immersion, the water pressure technique, uh, yeah. like yesterday. Is it, really, it helps you a lot in this case? Yeah, uh, because uh, th this area is very close to the pyrolytic ring and this, sometimes it's very difficult to open the submucosal space. That's why I uh, use the water uh, pressure method to open the submucosal area. Then uh, we can clearly visualize the submucosal area. That's the great merit. Of course, in case of lesion uh, located at the uh, lesser curvature of the stomach, we can just use the gravity during the submucosal dissection. We don't have to use the water pressure method. Uh, there, therefore, uh, it's completely depending on the size and the location of the target tissue. Uh, fortunately, this is almost the end of the procedure. Uh, there was no sick blood vessel at all. So it's a relatively simple procedure. 
I think it's already <laughs> finished. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, excellent. Yeah, it's already finished. Incredible, really nice.